Guess where we are? <laughs> the grocery store. The grocery store. Our favorite place to be. <laughs> yep. I love the grocery shop. And guess what? It's a Friday night, so it's back to our normal. Friday night grocery dates. Right. <laughs> So we're gonna go grab some groceries to get us through hopefully the weekend and everything and we thought we'd bring you along. Our first stop of the night is Publix. They're relatively expensive on groceries but we like to come and get their buy one get one items because that's usually a good price. So we're gonna go get our buy one get one free items that we need for the week. Look at the size of this bag of carrots. It's 25 pounds of carrots. Like, wow. All right, so here's our grocery haul. I was so excited because Captain Crunch was actually buy one, get one free this week. And so I could get my peanut butter. I think I showed you guys in a previous video. I just had like the normal Captain Crunch with the crunch berries, but it was like the Halloween version. But these ones are my all time favorite. So I'm so excited. And then we got some decaf espresso because we like to make like lattes and stuff. Um, more for me right now because I'm pregnant and dad, Jack's dad also doesn't drink caffeine. So it's nice to have in the house. We got our bacon. That was buy one, get one. Um, we decided to try these because we do have eat a lot of tacos and they were buy one, get one. We haven't had the Taco Bell ones, but it figured why not give them a try. Same with these refried beans. They were less than a dollar a piece so with the buy one, get one free. So we figured, like, why not give them a try? Our cedars hummus that we love. That was buy one, get one. I got these because I like to have them as, like, car snacks. I know, like, they're the kid cliff bars and they're still not the healthiest. But they're nice to have in the car when I get really hungry. And then Triscuits were buy one, get one family size. Not too bad of a deal. Um, we just use those for, like, cheese and crackers. And then this queso dip was on sale, so we decided to try it since we do like to have like a lot of tacos. And then like if you watched our last video when we made our homemade chicken chimichangas, this isn't the normal cheese I buy as you saw in that video, but this one was buy one get one and we hadn't had this brand before, so we'll give it a try. See how it is. What I really hate at the grocery stores lately, and maybe it's just down here in Florida, is why is everybody so lazy that you don't put your cart away anymore? Like, we came out to our car. There was one that was, like, parked right next to my door where I couldn't even get into my car or get into the car that I had to go put it back for somebody because they're too lazy. And then right when we got in the car, we saw some other lady literally park her cart in front of the handicapped spot. It's just like, come on, put your cart away. It's not that much extra work. Yeah. Does anybody else get annoyed at that or is it just us? Because it's really not that hard to go put your cart like 20 more feet away we probably all could use the walk i know i could so yeah just another pet peeve of the grocery store which is why we try to go like in the evenings before the weekend comes because most of our grocery stores are picked over by the weekend anyway that we can't find anything um but yeah it was crazy we just finished dinner and we were hanging out on the couch and erica saw somebody eating magic bars or seven layer bars and she was like, I just want something sweet. So I went to the pantry and got brownies. So we're gonna make brownies tonight. These are actually from my dad because my dad was here a few months back and he was like, you guys don't have any brownies in your pantry. And he was like, you never know when that one night's gonna hit and you just wanna make brownies. And guess what? He was right. That night has hit and we're gonna make Fudge brownies. Our brownie mix is mixed up. This is the first time we are using Duncan Hines uh, Chewy Fudge Brownies. We have historically bought the Pillsbury Dark Chocolate ones. Those are our favorite. So this is the first time we're trying these ones and we're going to see how we like them. I'm wrong. It's not Pillsbury Dark Chocolate Brownie Mix. We actually do Betty Crocker dark chocolate brownie mix. Those are the ones that we really like. So giving the Duncan Hine ones a try and we'll let you know what we think. I've placed the brownie mix in the nine by 13 container. I forgot to mention this before. We like to put ours in nine by 13. Uh, you can also do it in like a nine by nine. And I think the box also says you can do an eight by eight, but we always do a nine by 13 because we like more brownies that are thinner 
than thicker brownies and less. Oh yeah, look at those beauties. That looks like an appropriate size brownie. Yep, perfect. Let's go see what Erica's reaction is to the size of a brownie piece. Perfect size. Mm -hmm. If only we bought ice cream while we were at the store. I could put my Twix bar on. <laughs> <laughs> That's going just a bit too far, don't you think? Probably. Bello! We are at the Magic Kingdom. Jack and I were just sitting at home and then we figured I was ready to go take a walk and we can get back in the parks today because we're blacked out during the holidays because of the high crowds. It still looks like it's packed today, but we're really just here to make a loop so I can walk the baby and see where the night takes us. Let's see if the Christmas decorations are still up. Yeah, we'll go check out and see if Christmas is up. Here's the monorail. We're gonna take the resort monorail today. off the monorail and made it to the front entrance. Looks packed, even out here. <laughs> but they still got Christmas up. We're done because <laughs> we'll be bobbing and weaving. That's right. Bello, Jack and I were feeling the Sunday blues because tomorrow starts another work week, so we decided to get out and head to Universal Studios and go grab some butterbeer ice cream. It's hard for us to usually get to Universal Studios on work nights because they close relatively early, but then by the time we're home from work, there's no way to get all the way over here. But tonight, we figured we'd make the effort. We had two hours before park closed. We also don't come super often because being pregnant, there's not that many rides here that I can ride, and I'm a total ride person, whereas Jack will go and enjoy. I'm learning to go and enjoy and just walk the parks now, but I usually love to jump from ride to ride, so I get a little sad going to the parks that I can't do that right now. This Minion Land is so cute, though. I love the Minion ride. Um, not this new Blaster one because we haven't done it yet, but the other Minion ride, I actually love that one. I think it is so fun, so this land is so cute. I'm glad we got to come in and finally see it because we haven't been since it's opened. They even have some Christmas still up, so this is so pretty to see. I'm so glad that some of it is still up and lit up. Butterbeer ice cream, here we come. found Bob a shirt. We didn't buy it sadly because it was way overpriced for just a t-shirt but look how cute this was and it even said Bob. <laughs> 